Hello everyone, how are you? Today we are going to uh, discuss about another question regarding MRCS. Uh, this question is uh, one of the most important question. Let's start the question here. Which of the following statement relating to the posterior cerebellar bral uh, artery is false? So here posterior cerebral artery we have to know about the posterior cerebral artery in details and we have to find out in the following options which option is not true so you can see here it supplies the visual cortex it is closely re related to the third cranial nerve it is a branch of basilar artery it is connected to the circle of willis via the superior cerebellar artery when occluded may result in contralateral visual field loss so these are the answering options of the question we have to find out which option is not true so we have to know in details about the posterior cerebral artery so let's start about the posterior cerebral artery here we can see this is the posterior cerebral artery and if we go back we can see it arises from these artery this large artery and this large artery is basilar artery so posterior cerebral artery it arises from basilar artery and this basilar artery is formed by these two vertebral artery so two vertebral artery form basilar artery and basilar artery terminates into to posterior cerebral artery so posterior cerebral artery our main topics it is branch of basilar artery and we know circle of willis it is formed by the vertebro basilar system and carotid system vertebro basilar system and carotid or internal carotid artery system so here this circle is known as circle of willis so in the uh, front part uh, it is the carotid system and the back part it is from the vertebro basilar system so here we can see the posterior cerebral artery it communicates to the carotid artery or internal carotid artery by this channel and this channel is posterior communicating artery so posterior cerebral artery it communicates with internal carotid artery by posterior communicating artery and we can see there is anterior communicating artery also this anterior communicating artery it joins to anterior cerebral artery In the next picture in this picture we can see it is the posterior cerebral artery and posterior cerebral artery it supplies the occipital area posterior cerebral artery it supplies the occipital area and we know that visual center lies in the occipital area so if the posterior cerebral artery compromise then visual cortex will be damaged and visual center will be hampered so vision will be impaired or lost uh, we know that in the cerebral hemisphere they control the uh, another side of the body such as the uh, right cerebral hemisphere control the left cerebral hemisphere on the other hand left cerebral hemisphere it controls or manages the right side of the body so here if any lesion in the posterior cerebral artery occur in the right side of the cerebral cortex uh, it impaired vision on the left side of the eye and if the lesion occur in the left side of the posterior cerebral artery then vision will lost in the right eye so here in uh, the picture we can also see it is the posterior cerebral artery and this posterior cerebral artery supplying the visual cortex this visual cortex and if any 
um, compromisation of the blood supply like this, like hemorrhage or ischemia uh, develop, then the visual cortex will be lost and contralateral lateral visual eye feel and visual, uh, visual power will be lost. Let's see another picture here. We can see this is midbrain and this is optic radiation and pituitary area here we can uh, see the posterior cerebral artery this the posterior cerebral artery this is the posterior cerebral artery it arises from the basilar artery and we can see a nerve is very close to this posterior cerebral artery close to the origin there is a nerve which is going very close to this posterior cerebral artery and these are uh, nerve this structure is a nerve and this nerve is oculomotor nerve or it is cranial nerve 3 so cranial nerve 3 oculomotor nerve it is very close to the posterior cerebral artery so this point is very very important so finally we can see the answer is uh, it is connected to the uh, circle of wind by superior cerebral velar artery it is false we can uh, see the another options the options are it supplies the visual cortex we saw in the picture yeah it is true it is close to the third cranial nerve oculomotor nerve it is also true it is a branch of basilar artery which is true when occluded medial contralateral that means opposite signs of side of the field of vision will be lost it is also true but it connects to the circle of body by superior cerebellar artery it is false we saw that it is connected to the circle of wheelie by posterior communicating artery so our final answer which is false regarding to the posterior cerebral artery is answer d